Hi everyone, it's Georgian again. Thanks for stopping by. Um, this one's going to be, um, well, don't take it too seriously. It's just another uh, approach uh, to the Mandela effect, and um, I just like playing around with ideas. I think there's some validity to this. Um, so anyway, I'll just tell you. Um, so psychology and how that relates to those who see the Mandela effect. Um, I know this might sound kind of me-centered, <laughs> but um, so what I what my kind of theory is, um, it has to do with wonder and how when you were a child you um, you experienced that and you asked questions. Um, for example, um, two examples for me, uh, when I was a child, uh, we lived in kind of a ritzy neighborhood, and our grandparents did, and it lived in another ritzy neighborhood, and in the middle was a poor neighborhood. And when we would drive through the poor neighborhood, um, even when I was very small, I would look around and I would just get so sad, and I would think, now, why is it that this area l has to look this way? This isn't right you know, why, why, why is it? I, and I would wonder, you know, assuming that I would come up with a logical conclusion, even though I was probably only six or so at the time. Um, so it's that questioning, that wonder. Um, another example would be like, say I had a teacher that was bad and wasn't helping the students learn. I would sit there and I would think, why, why is that person a teacher? Why, why doesn't someone either help them be a better teacher or, um, you know, replace them with a better teacher. And I guess my point is I was very small when I was thinking these things um, and, and maybe you did too and had that sense of wonder and always questioning. Um, the psychological part for me comes with, um, and I say this not to complain or um, with any regret, but I did have a pretty if not traumatic, very unpredictable childhood. You might say traumatic. Um, and this is common with people who have a traumatic uh, childhood. Um, before their brains are formed, they developed PT they develop PTSD um, and um, you know they they're just, you know, it causes the little psyche to kind of fracture. Um, and so, when you have that P PTSD and you're little and your brain hasn't formed, you're always waiting for the other shoe to drop. You're constantly scanning the room, the street, you know, the building where you are to see, you know, is anything coming up that's unexpected? Is there anything, you know, anything I'm not seeing right now? I'm going to keep looking just in case something does come up because um, that's what I do because I've been surprised and traumatized and and that's my my way of being. So, um, so I'm wondering if any of you, um, you know, have that type of, there was a book written about it, um, by a lady called Alice Miller, which I don't, I don't read those things anymore, um, being a born again Christian, but I did read it before I was saved and, um, it's called The Drama of the Gifted Child. Um, and so it's when there's that trauma, that lack of consistency, that unpredictability, how the small brain adapts and it has lifelong consequences. So I'm just wondering if, you know, maybe any of you have that type of background. Um, if not, you know, do you know, do you notice and remember always having that sense of wonder? Um, for me, because for me, it's a question of always noticing not only what is there, but what isn't there. And I'm still kind of like that. I still have the back part of my brain always scanning, going, you know, what's the big picture here? What's missing? Is there anything missing? Um, and I think that is one reason that I can see the Mandela effect because, I, hate, I mean, it sounds kind of weird, but I know what's not there. Um, because also in my imagination, having always put forth alternatives and, um, you know, different, um, visualizations of, of reality than what was currently in front of me. Uh, so um, once again we come to the end of this little idea which is just something to play with. It's you know please don't think I'm taking myself seriously here. I just like to think about things but the end of it really is a spiritual question so say that is true and that's oh that's the reason I see the Mandela effect because you know, I had an unpredictable childhood. Well, the question is, that begs the question, why did I have that kind of childhood? You know, why was, you know, why was I deemed 
um, either worthy to be able to withstand it or for whatever reason it all comes back to a spiritual basis that we don't know we can't know I can't know <laughs> until God comes and um, until Jesus Christ comes in and makes everything clear to us which he will and in the meantime we are just watching and praying and helping each other and um, just waiting for that great day um, so um, let me know what you think if you have any thoughts thank you for watching God bless you